let's utilize a very good textbook entitled Systems Analysis and Design 10th Edition published by Cengage Learning to look at how we construct a PERT CPM chart for a basic project. So in this textbook, there's a personal trainer case study that goes through all the chapters. And so we're going to use it and these instructions here to create our PERT CPM chart. So notice before we get started, I'm using Excel 2016 and I've created this little PERT box template. And then I have a black arrow and a red arrow. Now the red arrow indicates, as it says here, the critical path through this project. So this is a very basic project. This might actually be the introduction to a very big project. So let's take a look at the requirements. The first task, it says first, so it will be the first task, task ID number one, you need to meet with fitness center managers at personal trainers. So I've created a task, task ID one, the title is meet center managers and it starts on day one. Now, how did I get the duration to finish on day five. Well, what I do is I actually use my fingers to count. So day one is one, two is two, three is three, four is four, and five is five. This one's easy. So the fifth day. So I've got that. Now it says after these meetings, you can conduct a series of interviews. That means we can't do these concurrently. They are sequentially. Only after we finish this one can we do the next one, which is conduct interviews. That means that conduct interviews will start on day six of the project and it takes five days to complete that. So six is going to be day one, seven, day two, eight, day three, nine, day four, and ten is day five. Five days finishing on the tenth day. Then it says when the interviews are complete. So only after we complete the interviews, two tasks can begin. So here are the next two tasks. It is you can review company records right here and observe business operations. Now reviewing company records has a three day duration and observing business operations has an eighth day. That means that we have to take the highest duration as our critical path. And if you notice, I've referenced that with this red arrow here. So looking at this one, it's three days. It starts on day 11 because the previous task finished on day 10. So day 11 is going to be day 1, day 12, day 2, day 13, day 3 here. Same thing down here. 11, 1, 12, 2, 13, 3, 14, 4, 15, 5, 16, 6, 17, 7, and 18 is day 8. So 18 days. So we're into 18 days of our project days. It says once when you have reviewed the records and observed business operations. So once these two are complete, which means we can't start the next one just because we completed one of these. Once they're both complete, it says we can then do two tasks. One, analyze Bumblebee software and two, study sales and billing transactions. Now, if you notice, I have these task IDs. They may seem to be out of order. And the reason being, I don't want to cross these lines in my PERT CPM chart. So I brought task five down here because it is the longest task of the two tasks. So since our previous task completed on day 18, okay, then the next ones will start on 19. One is two days. So 19 being one, 20 being two. The next one is five days, 19 being one, 20 being two, 21 being three, 22 being four, uh, sorry, 19, one, 22, 21, three, 22, four, 23, five. There we go. So hard to do and count and talk at the same time for me. So anyway, we're on our 23rd day. It says after completing the analysis and study. So after we do both, we can finally prepare a report. That report takes one day, which means the day we start it is the day we finish. This is how we get project days of 24. And if you notice a critical path of one, two, four, five, seven. Now, if you rename these tasks here and made study sales billing transactions five and analyze Bumblebee six, then of course you would have one, two, four, six, and seven. So hopefully this helps. Have a great day.